Heh, this must be quite a shock for you. The big boss cannoli. They both they were both me all along. When I saw you make a quick work of those Team Star lackeys outside school that time, the idea of Operation Starfall suddenly came to me. My skills let me get hold of as much LP as I want, so I decided to use that to tempt you into helping me out. After the operation started, I kept an eye on you as a member of the supply unit. And I had you battle the bosses on my behalf. All for the goal of defeating me and putting an end to Team Star once and for all. But still, there's a part of me that wants Team Star to live on. I can't just roll over and let you win without putting up a fight. This is the final showdown. Are you ready? Thanks. Sorry to keep you. The letter of apology Miss Time had me err. I mean, preparations took me longer than expected. That voice. Are you Clive? Penny, so is it? It was you after, uh, no, I mean, is that you, Cannoli? In the flesh. I'll, I'll, I've had a task for you, Clive, if you will accept it. I want you to record what happens next so I can send a video to Team Star. They need to see the outcome of this battle for themselves. Uh, okay, will do. Alright, I'm about to whoop your ass, bitch. Now, I'm gonna... Introduce myself properly. I'm the big boss of Team Star. The name's Cannoli. No, Penny. Now bow down before the overwhelming might of Team Star's founder. I love Penny. I swear, she has really weak Pokemon. Oh, she is not. Oh, no. Well, maybe compared to your fucking starter, but... Actually, is her team full of Eevee? I think that would make sense. I won't hold back in this battle. I'll stay true to Team Star's code. Well, I think the ghost will work on you. I think. Or at least I hope. Nope. And I can tell you're probably going to use a ghost type move, so... Shit. I'm going on to dark type. I don't know what to use. I think if you use uh, flamethrower, you should be fine. Because okay. you are like really over leveled. Nope. Then one shot. Oh god. Oh god. Oh well. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Very tanky alligator. Look, you're over leveled, okay? If, if this was like me, I that would probably like do a fox on a damage. Actually, is I I honestly don't know all. Oh, is it, is it all Eevees? If that is, this is gonna be easy. That's actually adorable. If that it's if it's all Eevees, I actually love that. She is, she is like the best battler to exist. That is adorable. But it's also gonna be easy. Well, they don't easy isn't always a bad thing. And actually, and it's cute. oh shit, no hydro pump. Oh. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. And... Oh my God. Yeah. That, oh yeah, because that... Vaporeons aren't Vaporeons tanky. Oh. Shit. Oh, errors avoid the attack. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Vaporeons are tanky as shit. Oh wait, I forgot Eris has Focus Slash, so... Uh, that's only for one hit oh, KO moves. Man. Oh... Yeah... Same with the ability Sturdy. If you hit it, like, if you had to have False Swipe... Actually, that would be the, pretty much the same thing. But if, if you have, like, one move that does really, like, very little, and then a one hit KO move, that's usually what people do to deal with, like, Sturdy. Pokemon I'm gonna and hope and pray on Lemon's Speed Stat. Yeah! Oh. Speed stat! <laughs> Fuck yeah! You ate the water dog. Why would you eat the water dog? It was 50 50 on the speed stat. Leafeon. It's all oh. Eevees. Oh Leafeon's gonna get immediately fucked. 
<laughs> Green Inferno is just gonna look at this. Oh, it's gonna be like that Scar and Mufasa moment <laughs> with this. Oh my god. It's all Eevees. It always has been all Eevees. Wait, does that mean she's a normal type? Or she would have been a normal type Team Star Leader? But there's already a normal gym. Yeah, that didn't do much <laughs> to me at all. <laughs> you may have lowered my attack, but I still one shot killed you. Okay, Jolteon. Oh, I really the hope chonk. that her. I'm pretty sure her ace is gonna be a regular Eevee or maybe even a Sylveon. I really hope it's a shiny because I think that would be cool if they gave one of the like the trainers a shiny Pokemon. Yeah, th this this battle's way easier. Than the previous one. <laughs> if this is the final boss of the game. It's not. Oh, that is not the final boss. That's the final boss. For the, uh. The specific. Like, uh, route you took. Uh. Mm -hmm. This is really pathetic. Because I'm just one shotting them, about most of them. <laughs> She's trying her best. You know how you use Hydro Pump? Well, so do I. Your baby dolls are not gonna help you. Wow. Oh shit, maybe it did. <laughs> oh, never mind, I moved first. <laughs> Sylveon. Oh fuck, what's good against Sylveon? Well, it was a Sylveon. Um, I... What's very weak against? Would it be poison? Maybe, I think it might be poison. I forgot. Do not send out fucking Lemon. Do not send out Lemon. Lemon is not strong against Fairy. <laughs> lemon doesn't have poison type moves. No, dragons are weak against Fairy, that's why I said do not send out Lemon. I know. I have one Pokemon left. I, I actually do think it's poison. Yep. Yep, it's poison. Well, time to die! It's poison steel, I remember now. It's poison steel. It's really fucked up how they chose steel because of actual stories with what people did with fairies. Mm -hmm. Where they made them slaves inside steel cages. I think that's why they're weak against steel. Yeah. Go big boy. Big boy become... Bigger big boy. boy become crystal. Big boy become crystal. Big boy become crystal. Yippee. Womp. That's the only sound I can imagine them saying is just womp. Womp womp. Womp womp. <laughs> Big chunky boy. Big boy. I love big boy. Okay. Oh. Sludge Wave did not do much. So let's try a poison jab. My VV power. Oh god, they're using fairy. Oh, come on, Chunk. Oh, Chunk took it in like a champ. I think poison jab will kill. Oh shit. No, oh my god. And they got poisoned! Well, never mind, it's dead. Yeah, it's dead. So yeah, the this boss was probably the easiest in all of Team Star. <laughs> and well, I've had you to are, deal with it. like, two of your Pokemon are, like, or one of them is really over-fucking-leveled. And overpowered now. <laughs> it's all over now. Now you got one more fucker to fight. It's finally over, guys. It's done.
We're done here. I think we should call it quits. Oh, oh, hold up. Are, are you saying we should break up the team? You gotta be joking. We got carried away with Operation Star. Now everything's gotten out of hand. Yeah, well that... Well, that's what happens when you round up a bunch of bullies in the courtyard and make a show of, of learning them some manners. But we didn't even fight them in the end. We didn't do anything wrong. Indeed. Merely did we declare our intention to battle tooth and nail should the villains persist in their tr tyrannous oppression. Twas a bloodless victory, we assure you. Yeah, we didn't even send out their they didn't even send out their Pokemon. They just blubbered and, and apologized a whole lot. Our outfits must have spooked them good. But the bullies made a huge stink about what went down, and then they all ended up leaving the academy. Our plan backfired epically. There's no way we're, we're getting off scot free. Guess you're right. This little stunt might have put put us up in the creek. I'll fix this mess on my end. Just leave it to me. What are you saying? I'm the one who started Team Star. I dragged you into all of this. So I'll take responsibility for everything. Oh, noble and kind big boss. You cannot. Now that the bullies are gone, you guys should start going to school again. Oh yeah? And what about you? I can't go back. Why? There's no reason to stay shut in your room anymore, right? All I can say to you guys is thanks. Even though we never met in person, you are all so kind to me. Stop right there, BB. Why are you talking like we'll never speak again? I need to take care of some things. Prithi, speak to us. Why is thine intent? Hey, big boss, answer us. Bye-bye, guys. Thanks for everything. So did they seriously not notice she was outside their window? Nope. Damn. Thanks for everything, Aaron. And you too, Clive. I'm glad I could see this dude to the end. I guess this is it for Team Star. And me too. Hold that thought, Miss uh, Penny. I'd like to check something with you first. Check what? What? Why resort to something like Operation Starfall if you're the big boss of Team Star? Wasn't there any other way to handle this? I tried telling the bosses that we were done once before. But they still didn't quit. Why not simply order them to? Our code states that no one in the team has the right to order people around. I could ask them all, all to do stuff, but I cannot never order them. So it's back to the code once again. The bosses must have taken it very seriously. They did. That's why I knew I could use it to force Team Star to disband. Because the bosses would do anything the code required of them, even leave the team. Yes, according to the code, they had to accept any challenge made to them. That's the idea for Operation Starfall. Kanali, let me ask you one th last thing. What does Team Star... No. What do your friends in the team mean to you? There. They're my greatest tre treasure. Splendid. Thank you for apprising me of this situation, Miss Penny. What? Now, young lady, there's something I should very much like to discuss with you. Hey, I quit it, quit it with the 
old geezer act, Clive. You're creeping me out. Indeed. Well then, before we talk further, allow me to reveal to you my own secret identity. Ha! D -d Director Cl Clavicle? <laughs> Just as Ca uh, Cannoli was your disguise, the boy you knew as Clive was mine. But, but why? I needed a way to talk to Team Star on equal terms. Students do tend to, sh to shy from their speaking their mind to teachers, after all. Much more so when faced with the director of the academy. Yeah, but where do I even start? Wasn't the outfit a bit much? Plus, I have some big feelings about that wig. Huh? Ahem. <laughs> well, that's quite enough for that of that for now. Everyone, why don't you come out? on out and everyone from team stars here it is huh yo big boss long time no see also also Mama. mela's walking normally <laughs> yeah we're like long time no meet right i mean we only found a real name just now melly Barely was a long hidden continuance, a sight for my sore eyes, my lady. Atticus. Is Atticus female or male? So I've heard. Who knows? Oh, your name's Penny. Have you been this whole time? Forty. We found you at last. You've no idea how worried we've been. Harry. Okay, gang, on a count of three. One, two, hello, la vista, star, cannoli, and hello, Penny. Now then, Miss Penny, and each of the young bosses as well. On behalf of the Academy, I have something I would like to say to Team Star. Y'all have my sincerest apologies. Come again? As director of the academy, I let you down. My handling of your situation was a dismal failure. What? I still don't... I mean, why? You all told me about your reasons for forming Team Star. And about your subsequent actions. Ever since my first days as director, all I've ever experienced of the academy is an environment... Less freely from bullying. But I now know that this piece was built on the backs of your hurt and anger, and of course, your immense courage in putting things to right. And so I'll get straight to the conclusion. The Academy's order of Team Star disband and my threat to expel those who do not obey are hereby revoked. Th does that mean what I think it means? Indeed, Team Star can continue to exist, should that be your wish. Woohoo! I mean, oh, sorry. Woohoo! Penny, isn't that great? Now we can all stay together. Oh, my heart is giddy with glee. But, 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 I betrayed all of you. You mean Operation Starfall? Director Clavicle told us all about it. As far as we heard, we're, you only went through with it to save us from getting expelled. You were just worried about us, right? It's not like we'd ever chuck the team just because someone told us to do. Too, after all, ain't our style. Cannot even begin to imagine how you must have feared for us, yep, yeah, Lady Penny. Sorry for making you worry, BB. We're all okay now. But, even so... Hold on, everyone. I have more to say. As previously stated, the requirement for Team Star to Spain has been revoked. However, there are still some unsettled matters to discuss. Allow me to provide a few examples. Your protracted truancy, your bros rosin customization of school uniforms, 
your unauthorized usage of academy equipment, your reckless modifications and jeopardous driving of Pokemon powered vehicles. Need I go on? Your flagrant disregard for school rules cannot simply be, be overlooked. Thus, as punishment, you will all be required to engage in community service. Community, community service? Yes, specifically, I'll be asking you to manage the STCs. And that stands for... The Star Training Centers. They shall be facilities for cultivating Pokemon trainers' talents. I plan for the Academy to found them in collaboration with the Pokemon League. The idea came to me when I saw Miss Aaron bowing her way through your bases. Bases construction as well as battle tactics employed by the students in Team Star are remarkably unique and creative. I would ask that you continue your team activities, but henceforth as STC staff members, using your former bases as training facilities. And that is the sum of it. Does anyone have any concerns? Um, no. Sounds like fun. So I don't see how this will be anything but a win-win. Yeah, this is a weird thing to say since STCs are supposed to be a punishment and all, but you should totally join in too, Penny. Tis true. We'll be ha most happily have you at our sides, my lady. We can go to school together too. That way if anything happens, we'll be there to protect you. We were already talking about how great it would be to have both Team Star and school in our lives. This would be a sweet deal for us. So what did you say? You guys. Aaron, what do you think? Huh, but, but, um, I just... Hmm. No need to give your response right this moment, Miss Penny. Do take some time to decide. For now, at least, I think our little group should do their separate ways. Uh, not to say you should break up Team Star, after all. I simply meant it. It is time to leave. Miss Aaron, please stop by my office later if you would. I think this is the first time that you have been in your dorm since, like, the start of the game. <laughs> also, I will say, that boss was very easy. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really tanky Vaporeon, though. Yeah, but I had a very tanky Pokemon, too. <laughs> so it was more than fair. Alright, let's see what Mr. Clavicle wants. Ah, here you are, Miss Aaron. Wanted to thank you for all your hard work in resolving the situation with Team Star. If not for you, I suspect that I would not have done a team a grievous injustice in my choice of punishment for their actions. You have my sincere gratitude. Who is it? Um, it's Penny. Ah, uh, Miss Penny, do come in. He Hello, Director. About the SCCs, I'd like to work on them together with the rest of Team Star. That's wonderful news. Thank you very much for your f favorable response. But, um... I, I, I should be punished more heavily than the others, I think. Why so? Because of Operation Starfall? No, not that. Because of the other really bad thing I did. And what would that be? Um, you know, the LP I gave you both in exchange for helping me with Operation Starfall? Did she come at LP pod? I Ooh, got fraud. hold of it sort of illegally by hacking the Pokemon's... League's LP management system. Yep. Ah, uh, I see. That is quite the relevation. 
I did not think such a thing was even possible in the first place. It wasn't that hard, I mean, er, I mean, I'm really sorry, I won't do it again. Hmm, this matter is, is rather out of my jurisdiction, I'm afraid. I'll have to consult Miss Skeeta, the Pokemon League chairwoman, on how best to proceed. I figured as much. I do apologize, Miss Aaron, but I will have to ask you to give us some privacy. Wait, so does that mean I have legal illegal money on me right now? Yep. Yep. Fuck yeah! I'm a criminal! You're not, not a criminal, Penny is. I thought you were about to make fun of me how I say criminal. Criminal? Criminal? Criminal. I can't, I can't say some words correctly. That's how I actually say that criminal. word. That's one of the words I can't say correctly. Because doctors are bitches. Mm. Aaron Bray? There's something I want to talk to you about. Could you come and meet me in front of the school stairs? You know, where we first met? I'll be waiting. God damn it. I'm trying to do my last fight. But I guess, I guess this is not the end of Team Star thing. <clears throat> you mean the Pokemon League? No. I'm not gonna take that yet. I gotta talk to, uh... Argon. Ah. Wait, what? Oh, I passed her. Yeah, I, oh, I jumped Penny. over her. I jumped over Poor her. Penny. That's so mean. <laughs> That is so mean. Somehow I walked up behind her even though I stood in front of her. You're mean. You're a meanie. Hasta la vista. The six of us thought up the, the catchphrase back when we created a team. It's so cringy, it's perfect, you know? He, even Penny realizes it's cringy. <laughs> Pokemon characters can be self-aware, you know? Wait, then that means Nintendo knows what cringe is if they use the word cringy. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, about the LP thing. I thought I was going down big time for hacking the league point system, but they're letting me off easy. What happened? Pokemon League said they'll waive my debt if I do them some volunteer engineering for them. They even asked me to come work for them after I graduate, if you can believe that. Doc Director Clavicle and that... Fuck, I forgot what name Hatchet gave her. I'm gonna say Gita. Gita, lady, kept complimenting me like a weird amount. Apparently I have outstanding talent or something. Sorry for calling you out here to meet the like this. I'm still not great with people face to face. Never seem to find the right words, but um... Thank you so much. You saved Team Star and my friends along with it. I know words won't ever be enough to properly thank you for all of you done, so here. Draco Meteor. Oh, that's good. Wait, can I give that to Garchomp? I think so. Yeah, but it also raises special attack stat. It lowers it. I mean, not raises, lowers. But yeah, it's a really good move, though. I'm sure you'll put this to good use. And one more thing. I want to repay the debt I owe you. If you ever feel, ever think of a way I can do that, just let me know. I'm great with machines and hacking and stuff. Oh. So next time, I'll be the one helping you, Aaron. Oh. Why are you going? Oh. Be seeing you then, Hasta la vista. The last thing. The. Pokemon Professor said 
the thing before you go into that void area, the hole, mm -hmm. is that you'll be dealing with a lot of machines and you can bring as many people as you like to help you get past them. Which means I'll probably be asking Team Star's help. Mm -hmm. Fuck yeah. I'm the new leader of Team Star now, bitches. I don't think you are. Okay, let's see. I need to go... Let me heal is? my Pokemon. I just realized I didn't even have to use a full restore the entire time I fought her. Yeah, you bought all those full restores and you didn't use a single fucking one. Yeah, I didn't even use one. <laughs> I think what I have right now is good. Time to fight Penny! Now, will you get your ass kicked? Or will you be like me? <laughs> mm. I'm still kind of upset because I did lose an hour of progress on the egg hatching thing because my game crashed and I didn't load from the save. That's fair. Alright, now I gotta whoop, uh... <laughs> Argon's ass. And then... And then we'll, pro we'll head over to the Legends area. Oh yeah, I looked it up. Those sword things that we've seen in the ground, the stakes. Mm -hmm. If you collect the exact amount, uh, a seal will open. Or we'll, we'll, we'll say there's a seal glowing or whatever. You go mm -hmm. over to it and you get a legendary. Oh, shit. So, yeah, that's how you get some legendaries. You have to well, find those Is seals. that how I got Spirit Tomb? Is that how I got Spirit Tomb? Because I did. I found Spirit Tomb. But it didn't say anything about seals opening. Then, no. I don't think that's how that worked. Because when I, when I was looking at uh, legendaries or whatever, Spirit Tomb was not listed. Ah, uh, well, that's weird. How the fuck did I get Spirit Tomb then? Because it was actually, is it even a part of the uh, Pokedex? I'm pretty sure it is. That's weird. I don't think it's listed as a legendary, so you probably just got it as a regular encounter. Well, it must be a rare yeah. encounter then. Yeah. Spirit Tomb, Spirit Tomb. Not. Okay, I want by letters. Spirit Tomb. I already read all of this, so I'm not going to read it again. Plus, I'm pretty sure you don't want to hear our uh, <laughs> Archon's voice that I gave them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, no Spirit Tomb? It's weird. Oh, no, Spirit Tomb is a, a part of the Pokedex. I would think so. Its constant mis mischief and misdeeds resulted... And it being bound, bonded to an odd keystone by a mysterious spell. That's bullshit. They changed that. Bullshit. That's not what it said originally. Yeah. Oh yeah, all the Pokemon um, that Argon use to help you, you have to fight. Oh. Oh, he's not that strong. Oh yeah, no. Like, yeah, I'm pretty much gonna destroy his entire team, <laughs> especially Little with Granite Burno. Little wimpy man. Gargan Knuckle. Fuck, was he? Which was he? I think I'll I think switch that's for Grass type. I think that's a Grass type. Uh, I'm just gonna send out Brimblegast. I got Hyper Beam, so in case if it is Grass type, I'm just. Bramble Gas will be fine. <laughs> no, oh, that is not. Rock. Jesus Christ, that's a. That's a fucking. Jesus. That's for... like it belongs in Minecraft. Oh, they use Stealth Rock. Fuck you. Thanks for the food. Critical hit. Yeah, I'm just whooping 
<laughs> his ass now. Dream Eater? Uh, no, because I don't have hypnosis, so. Sco Villain. Oh, use in. So I don't know. I don't know what Sco Villain is. Oh, it's a two-headed dragon-looking thing. Mm -hmm. It guess it's typing. Grass. And. Dragon. Nope. Oh, I froze it. It is. It's. It's actually fire grass. Oh. That's cool. <laughs> They're still frozen. Get another hydro pump, bitch. Fuck, how the fuck that bitch? Okay, whatever. Stop using psychic, you annoying bitch. God damn. It isn't even doing much. <laughs> Let me once learn to move sandstorm. No. How does this bitch keep dodging my fucking play roughs? Play roughs have like a high. Isn't it like 95%? Wait. Yeah, oh, it's 90%. Oh, that's the it's evolution to Toad School. How? Oh, oh, that's cool. How did that bitch. Okay, whatever. God, my dog's dead now. Well, that's great. <laughs> How did it miss. Three times! It is 90% chance! What the fuck? It just does not like you. Yeah, I can tell. Oh shit. I used the wrong move. I hit A too That's many- really. too fast. Oh, that hurt. That did damage. Yeah, well now you're dead. <laughs> Cloyster. Uh, yes. Definitely switch you out. Even with Pokemon, like, a level- on a one level under... Penny's Pokemon. It's this is pretty easy. Like only one of my Pokemon died so far. I know. Like Penny was super easy. Switch. Should I do use Butternut or Hamlet? I'm gonna use Hamlet so I can use his revivability. I think Hamlet is an amazing name. I think it's one of the favorite names of my my party besides Cheese It. I'm kind of sad that the like the rivals and stuff don't name their Pokemon. Ah, uh, yeah, that's fair. You think they would, but they don't. And it's like, why? Oh, they turned to Dark type. Fuck you. I mean, that is a dark type Pokemon. Oh, it's still super effective. <laughs> Ouch, that hurt. I'm, I'm honestly so glad that that boy is healthy enough to fight. I'm so happy. He lives. He fucking lives. I he refuse lives. to let you hurt me. So I Don't will terrestrialize and dig like I've never <laughs> digged before. Stop trying to kill the pupper. Oh, well, this is a shark. A shark versus dog. Dog loses. You're a meanie. Aha! I have they avoided the attack. Oh, 
Oh fuck, that didn't kill it. Switch. Oh fuck. Also, since when was Dark super effective against Garchomp? I have no idea. I'm 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 taking it that that fight isn't going very well for you. Huh? Oh no, I'm doing fine. This is their last Pokemon. I mean, yeah, but uh, <laughs> almost half of your team is dead. More than God half. Damn it. Oh, about half. Yeah, half of your team is now dead. Grand Inferno's still alive. Good point. Also, Chonk lives. You know what? We're sending out the Chonk. The Chonk! Oh, the Chonk hook took it hung in there. Oh, come on! Oh, no. Well. I guess... Ryan Inferno is gonna go and kill the dog. Imagine the dog outspeeds you, though. Highly doubt it. Okay, I want to heal Grand Inferno first. I think a one hit kills Grand Inferno. I would actually fucking be amazed. I doubt it. I just one hit killed Penny Sylveon. Yeah, like Jesus I said, Christ. I doubt it. I'm over half health, so I'll survive. Up oh, and I go first. <laughs> and I win. How could you? How could you kill the dog? We were so close, Rebel Stiff. So close. But Aaron, thanks a little buddy. Don't you love that voice? No. Dang, this is the strength of someone who can take down those Titan Pokemon, huh? Yeah, much as I hate to admit it, I do think that we're gonna need some more support. Pokemon Area Zero is super strong. And there are all sorts of weird machines there, too. I'd say we at least need two more people. Somebody, some champion rank level skills. And somebody who can deal with crazy tech. Penny. Penny. That crazy smart hacker girl who was the big boss behind Team Star? I mean, yeah, she'd be perfect for the job. But when you go making friends with some shady character like her? But, well, we're gonna... We gotta do what we gotta do. Whoever you think could help us, just try to get, get in, in good with them. We'll see if we can get a team together. Get in touch if we make progress. I'll do the same. Well, we already got Penny. That means you have to take on the Elite Four. Oh, I do? Mm-hmm. It's only about level 60, if I remember correctly, because I did look up, and they were like, yeah, I recommended level is 60. Well, all my Pokemon are pretty much up at that point, except for one. Except for one. Yeah. <laughs> just one is just 20 levels higher. Just, just, just a bit, little bit stronger, you know? Just a tiny itty bitty bit. Yeah. I'd say level 60 is I think one is grass. One's normal, one's grass. Uh, whatever the child is. I think you have to fight Nimona, which isn't surprising. I think it- I forget if it's before or whatever. If it's Nimona, it's gonna be easy. The thing is, the teams that she's been using are teams she wants to go easy on you because she knows you're a, a new trainer to, like, the region. I don't think she's- it, it might be easy because you're overleveled as fuck, but I don't know if she's gonna <laughs> make a purposely easy team. 
<laughs> yeah, compared to you and me, I'm probably gonna have a blast at the Pike One League while you're suffering. <laughs> one, one of the, I have a fighting type. One of the the, the fucking people is of normal type. So that's really fucking easy. Yeah. Okay. I'll probably get. I can get up to 75 full restores. No, I don't need that many. I'm probably gonna get... 15 more full restores. Oh no, wait. Six... Oh wait, no, it's a... Uh, fuck. I would need at least... 11, I think it's what it is. Oh, you want to know an easy way to get to the Pokemon League? What? Uh, okay, I'll, I'll tell you when you get done with buying everything. Yeah. Get 64 restores. I don't need that many. Oh, well, that's gonna take all my LP. <laughs> take all that. And I am gonna get 30 of you. You know what? Now I'll get 60. Just in case. I don't think you need that many full heals. You never know, dragon. You never know. I, I feel like I know. Alright. I know I have to get to here. Oh, I can just, like, climb the wall and climb up to over here. Yeah, but there's an easier way. Okay, go go to the city. Go to- yeah, go to the city. Go to- yeah. Go there. There's actually a gate that leads up to the Pokemon League area. Uh, and it's- you head in the direction of the Pokemon League area, but in the city, and yeah. Okay, get on the right on. Jump down. See that, right there? See those Hello torches? There. See those the torches? Torches, go down! No, you're- oh no! You're over it! Okay, turn around. Down. There. Right there. I'm pretty sure I can easily take down the champion of uh, Pokemon League. Like, it's not gonna be hard for me. Guess what level those Pokemon are? 60s? No, no, no. Look at them. Lock onto them? Wow. Yeah, you could have you went you could have gone here the, uh, at the start of the game. That's sad. Actually, f turn around and fight the kid. I want to see what level he is. No. Okay, fight that trainer coming up. No. Fuck you. Oh look, it's the butt buddies. Well, one counter argument to that. Those, if you, they're after the level 25 and you just, like, let them do whatever the fuck, uh, they'll have children. Exactly. They're butt buddies. What? Oh, wait, did I heal my Pokemon? Ah, uh, hello, Ellen. So this is it. You've decided to face the Pokemon League. A final test you must pass to become a champion. It's held here in this building. I wish you the best of luck from the bottom of my heart, Eren. I look forward to meeting you again soon.
She's the champ, the full champion, right? That the face. Yep. If I remember correctly, yeah. Okay. I also want to make sure walk over here that way. I can just fly there. Okay, did you heal, heal your Pokemon, though? Oh, yeah, they're healed. You're ready to face the Pokemon League's champion assessment. Yes. Let's see. Aaron Bright from Yuva Academy, is it? It appears you have a total of eight gym badges. Very well. You may now proceed to the interview room. You gotta get interviewed? Oh, yeah, yeah. A lady, a lady asks you questions. Uh, Rita asks you questions. Why? But she does, and she's cool. And I love her. Thank you for coming today. I love her. Please do have a seat. Yeah, I don't know what she asks you, but I do remember that, like, it, there was a wiki page, and like, oh, here's the answers to the questions Rita, uh, Rika asks you, and I just was like, yeah, I don't want the answer to those. Yeah. I don't be sarcastic. Don't be an asshole. Be honest. Got it. I, Rika, will be your interviewer. Let's get started with the first portion of the champion assessment. Hi, Frost. Hello. We yeah. We begin with the interview. First things first, let me see how many gym badges you have. Excellent. You have all eight. Next, I'd like to ask you a few questions, if you wouldn't mind, Aaron. Please think carefully, as you may automatically fail the interview depending on your answers. Let's begin. How did you get here today? I wrote on my Pokemon? I mean, that's not wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Very good, very good. Please tell me the name of the school you are enrolled in. Ah, uh, that's right. So what brings you to Pokemon League today? Become a champion. Yes, indeed. Why else would you be here, I suppose? Now, what do you intend to do if and when you become a champion? To become even stronger. I see. Interesting. Tell me, which of the eight gems gave you the most difficulty? Ah, I think the Glaciado gem? Yeah, I think that's the ghost one. Oh, I, I was thinking about the ice one. Because oh. I got my ass kicked. Which one was that? I don't know. I'm going to say that one. Fuck it. I see. What's the name of the gem later you face there? Oh, fuck. Oh. So oh, I think it's a little... Is it? I see. That concludes this interview. One of the staff will let you know the results. Thank you again for your time. I think you uh, failed. Now please I excuse me. I think you failed. I'm sorry, I don't remember the gym. How did that happen? Oh. You oh, failed. Oh, you fucking... Oh, oh you failed. Oh, Frost, what the fuck? Frost, you good? Okay, Jack, remember those coordinates I sent you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that leads into the ancient city, right? That's where the Elytra mm -hmm. stuff also is, I put for you. Mm -hmm. And um, so I have a little water stream that leads straight into, like, like a corner of it. And I just only happen to see now that right next to the water is a shrieker. And I almost fell right on top of it. Oh. oh okay, so... I'm just going to play this wall. Okay, so that's the ghost... So and right next to it. Casadeo is is the crucial one. Okay. Uh -huh. So mm. now I know all the correct answers. So I'm just not reader again. I don't have this speaker reliance again. It's all gonna be the same fucking thing. Except this time you won't fail like a dumbass. Well, I didn't- I don't memorize where the fucking gym leaders are. Oh. 
Lacedeo was Grusha. Yep. I'm glad. I'm glad he seemed to remember. No, that's not her voice. I gave her fuck. But do you remember which type of Pokemon Grusha used? Oh, for fuck's sake! It's ice. Oh, thank God! I don't have to actually choose which Pokemon. Wonderful. Building the skills needed for the champion assessment is no small feat. You must have met a lot of Pokemon to get here, Aaron. I kill a lot of them. Murder. What was, what was the category of, of the Pokemon you chose to be your first Pokemon? Fire Croc. Yeah. Very good, very good. Now please forgive me, but I'm going to repeat a previous question. Oh no. Remind me, what do you intend to do if and when you become a champion? Come even stronger. Ah yes, that's right. Next is the final question for, for this interview. Do you like Pokemon Aaron Bright? I could just no. be an asshole and say no. And no, you'll fail if you put no. <laughs> yes. Depends which which generation are we talking? Uh nine. <laughs> I don't think I'll play that one yet. Which yeah. one is that? What? The, the newest one. The one yeah. currently being played. Like, yeah. Oh, which one is that? Arceus? No, no, that was part of Gen 8. Oh. Yeah. The anyway. only Pokemon game I played is either Roblox ones or Sword and or Sword. I could touch one. Uh, anyway. Alright. Good job, kiddo. Come on. Th that about wraps up. Oh. That about wraps up the interview. And let me be the first to congratulate you. Aaron Bright. You just passed the first part of the champion assessment. Honestly, I don't know why you bulged, uh, bunged, bungled it before. But anyway, time to switch gears and get ready for the next segment. Next segment is what we call the Elite Test. And you'll be facing Elite Four in Pokemon Battles. I guess that's pretty obvious from the name of the test, huh? Anyway, the best the league has to offer, you'll be facing us four in a row, no turning back. This won't be a cakewalk, I promise you that. Make sure you're all ready, then go into the room behind me. Fuck, I don't know which one's first, but I mean... <laughs> Grand Inferno's first, so I think it'll be fine. 